Greetings citizens, we are anonymous. The country is only days into the Donald Trump administration, and already we are seeing the negative effects of his actions on the country. He has enacted an immigration ban, that within hours brought about hate crimes against the American Muslim community, and has sparked protests and anxiety around the globe. He has banned American citizens from contracting the White House to protest, a violation of long-standing American values. He has plunged U.S. health care into a state of uncertainty. He has removed support for women's rights, the LGBT community, civil rights, and Native Americans from the White House website. He has further endangered the climate by restarting work on the Keystone and Dakota Access pipelines. After running his campaign on populist rhetoric, he has filled his cabinet with corporate fat cats from the likes of Goldman Sachs and ExxonMobil who will doubtless be more interested in advancing the fascist ideas of big business and big money than the concerns of the middle class. The truth is that this is a president put in place by the neoliberal elite to serve corporate interests, not the popular vote, as is being stated by the corporate media. Both parties, Democrat and Republican, have turned their backs on the majority of people in this country and serve only the rich. This is clearly demonstrated by the connection between Congress and the American Legislative Exchange Council, which collects dummy bills prepared by corporation and passes them on to be then presented on the floor of Congress for passage into law. We the people must act to take back our way of life, which is currently under attack by the very president and political system supposedly but in place to protect it. We need to come together as a collective and unite. Join forces with our brothers and sisters, unite as one and look at each other as equals, and help each other in this time of political and social struggle. Together, we must take a stand against the corrupted one-sided government. Speak up and speak out about the injustices in our cities and in our communities. You're not a slave to the dollar bill. Know that money holds no real powers and that money is fictional. The real truth of the matter is to know that the law and the government is not on our side, and to know that the court system, and political system, are not here to help us or be a benefit to us. They are put in place to control us, not to give us power. They are meant to take the power we have away from us. We need to wake up now. The moment is now, the time is now. Change for a better world for all of us is possible. Be the change you want to see, and take action now. Here is a simple three-step plan, which will empower every citizen to effect real change, starting today. Step 1. Boycott corporations in every way that you can. Why boycott corporations? They make up the economic base which is financing the corrupt activities of government. They are also at the root of the corrupt practices which are threatening our communities. Here are just a few examples. Monsanto, the large pesticide company which is invested in feeding largely untested chemically doused crops to the American public, is also willing to polite the environment with PCBs and lie about it for years because they cannot lose a dollar of profit. Bayer, is guilty of continuing to sell medication that was causing HIV infection even when they knew about it because it was cheaper to produce than a version that did not cause HIV infection. Walmart, abuses workers in their plants outside of the country and picks the pockets of American taxpayers for the public assistance paid to their workers in this country due to their substandard wages. These, and other large corporations then buy the favor of politicians with an army of Washington lobbyists who are making millionaires of members of Congress, who then in turn owe favors to their corporate masters. But these corporations are only rich because we hand them our dollars on a daily basis. If we stop handing them our dollars, we are having a direct impact on their ability to buy the favor of politicians and we are also supporting our local economies, which will make our local communities stronger and create demand for local jobs. Step 2. Reduce or outright eliminate the time that you spend watching television. Television is the main tool that government and corporations use to spread their propaganda. Step 3. Tell everyone you know why this is important and suggest that they do it too. Together, we the people can take back our country and our way of life. It is in our hands, and we can all take effective, significant action today, by paying attention to where we spend our dollars. Knowledge is power. We are anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us, 